we went out to do Party in the Woods. That's what we're doing. The Party in the Woods show. We we're talking about how it was a lot like Bentonville because we both written Bentonville. It was a lot like Bentonville, but it was definitely, I think, seemed a little more technical than Bentonville. It was more progressive definitely. with the rock work for sure. I feel like there was gaps in the rocks that like weren't smooth, and they were definitely anywhere from like four to six inches from the next one. So yeah. it was like a constant, constant plow rather than a smooth surface. And it was yeah. like steeper, like the first berm, the first. Dude, you could eat it. Is it was pretty so it, steep. You could you could yeah. eat it on that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah the first yeah. corner. Yeah. Because if you went to the inside, that was like you could. You could tip it. Yeah, I remember going, and I think there was a there's, few rocks sticking up, like baby head style, that if you took the inside line and weren't paying attention. To. It is interesting to note that that top section is rated blue, I think, still. And I feel like it's the be bottom. Or it was like it was advanced, but not black. Was it like a blue black or something? Because you can just roll all that if you yeah, need to. Mm -hmm. You can for sure. So like that top part, the like there was dudes up there. They walked it. I saw that. So they were like, whoa! I mean, they there's had like few, 140 walks. like cross country bikes, but yeah. they walked it bridge trossing That's that was pretty good i would love to have jumped it without the bridge in the middle that yeah. would have been a good yeah. commit like that, that would have been fun. something i would have done without the bridge for sure but, but i still would have hit it though it would have been epic it just like in bentonville where they filled that jump in the gap like you get to where it's like a 20 foot gap they and you're committing in. in bentonville they had a step up they went to the right at the boneyard and they filled in the back side of the wall with dirt so you could case it when before it was just like beautiful rock like it was only like this thick but you were like it was a step up that's sure. how Santos is. Well, that one jump used to be a gap and then they filled it in. Yeah, I think they should leave some progression there. Mm -hmm. sure. What they need to do is fill it in for like a year and then take it out. Like so people can like learn mm -hmm. yeah, how to jump it. it first and then yeah. take it out take and it then out. you can gap it. What if you have like a, right? What if there's a park where they had like filled in jumps and then at some point in time there's like a jam day where they pull everything out of the gaps? Yes. That'd be crazy. That's right. my, that would be what Amp it I would up love. like a double black, double black Saturday, you know, because every other month or something where the, you had something filled in the gaps and then now they're gone. It's like, what yeah. if you just had like a line that had a jump with the same exact jump next to it, but it was a gap jump. Like the bridge on Devil's Racetrack, nobody would ride that shit if the top of the bridge wasn't there. If that was a gap, no one would ride that shit. No. I mean, it was huge. I know I can jump it. I can't like, it almost seems like impossible, but not clear, but I would not want to like even look at that if that was just so high up. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. There. yeah. And then we're rolling up on what plan B is. The double black plan B yeah. at that point. Yeah. But we're still party in the woods. Still party in the woods. Still party well, in the woods. Party in the woods no, is the blue to the right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's party There's in the woods. Three, so it's party so... to the woods to the double black that's mm -hmm. called yeah. plan B. Yeah. Plan B. And so that's one thing year that's round, really cool. Down. Yes, year round get down. Is all those trails are considered all season trails and that's why they built them. So they are actually promoting riding them when it's wet. Really? Because they're all rock. That and are, that's the point. That's that scary. they're seasonal. Say, so slick rock. Uh -huh, it's so scary. I would but it doesn't ride. cause erosion. It, it doesn't cause erosion and as grippy as those rocks were, they yeah. seemed it's like pretty. I was walking back up not on the trail, of course, because you're not supposed to do that. But I was walking back up them, and dude, they're so grippy. Yeah. Anyway, you were really good. Plan B. Plan B. <laughs> anyway, was gnarly. The rock garden itself was much more aggressive than I thought it would be, and it had a very pisgy feel to it because the the holes and the dips off the rocks were so big, like they really were in between medium to large size rock boulders, not just a rock garden. There are holes, man. And there are holes, holes, and no, all the rocks were locked in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was crazy because mm -hmm. I felt like. Cool. Mm -hmm. Usually they're looser or whatever, and it's like, but these are like locked in, and I mean, I couldn't go that fast in it. I mean, like mm -hmm. the, the big sections, you were still full stroking with your arms to like, you're doing it, but definitely full body committing to making it happen. And I thought that was impressive. It was still really smooth, even though there were holes. Like as long as you were kind of like pumping, yeah, you'd yeah, be yeah. fine. You're not yeah. gonna hit one smack on. Like, like there's stuff you can just smack right into. And this, Scary. even yeah. though there were the dips and the holes, they were still super rounded and smooth. Yeah, for sure. To, to just co totally get your bike over if you were just like pumping. And still still have those gaps in between them though. The like the difference in them are 46 inches in between them though. Yeah, for sure. Like it's still, di still ditches, like little cuts in between the rocks. Which I feel like that makes it a double black for sure. You need to know how to ride that. To get through it. Yeah, I would say so. I used all my suspension today. Yeah, I wonder if I did. First time I did it well. Probably. Probably. He probably did. Especially now. It's pretty fun. What was your take on it, Colin? 
That was pretty fun. It was definitely a lot more fun to hit it with all the speed, like in a full pull. Yeah. Um, just sessioning it was a lot of fun, but like the run I took full pulling it from the top, I felt like I carried a lot more speed into the beginning of it, which allowed me to carry all the speed into it. And yeah, you could still hit those drops and you could carry a lot of speed through them surprisingly and even turn some of those into drops, you know, with the right amount of speed. And there wasn't anything like huge, like you weren't hucking anything like big right. flat. Right, yeah. You it wasn't I mean? like Everything four seemed foot to it was all very, yeah. I exactly. think it's built pretty well. It, it is. Really well. I mean, it really made you well. slow down, check your speed, your three or four so lines, you can you cross I mean? over, like, you can amp it up, you can back it off. And then there's ways that you could still be doing full effort and going down great. without slowing down very much. You know what I mean? So going down the mountain when there's two other lines next to you. And I thought that was uh, it was awesome. It was awesome. He had a good plan. Yeah. Be plan for the win. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all vote be plan. That's yeah. that yeah. shit was fun. Yeah. And the thing was kind of cool too because the more you do it, yeah, mountain biker. The more you can like go fast, like you can progress and go faster and faster down it, which makes it harder too. Mm -hmm. It definitely had a very bike park. Mm -hmm raw feeling in a couple spots and then after yeah. the crazy stuff i feel like it smoothed out and went back to like being a little more in control than what it was for that you said it's like 30 yards yeah, this 30 yards is just like general. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, 30 yards of gnar yeah then giddy up though too like you're going so fast and some of those like berms yeah, and stuff yeah, and up. then all of a sudden it was like super rocky like whoa where'd this come from yeah so mm. it that was pretty shark cool. fin at the bottom there's like a shark fin into that Last That's berm. tough. That was so scary. I hit that. Mm. Into the berm. You'll see it when we, when you replay the video, but definitely, dude. You like you mm -hmm. come off a shark fin. And it's on the left side, and you jump into the berm, but you land on the right, but the berm, you know, turns back to the left, and you just all the speed that you had coming across mm -hmm. that stuff, you carry it right into that. Where on which trail? On the bottom of uh, Giddy Up. Giddy Up. You only did it the almost, once. Almost to the bottom. Like, you'll see it because you were right behind me and I like yeah. jumped it and carried it all the way out there and like was landing in the corner and I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I remember too. that's what I said. Oh my God. It's because that bird was <laughs> super tight, like out of nowhere. It, it, yeah. it kind of didn't really match the rest of the trail. It, it was it super didn't, tight. At the very bottom? It, yes. Mm -hmm. The very like, last Very berm. last berm. Yeah, that one was worth it. It's so crazy to like so awesome. try to trust like your suspension and your tires mm. to stick to those rocks and those berms it's just like it's such a weird feeling to like get over but then once you do you're like oh this is great yeah so yeah. overall what would you rate it colin like a scale of one to ten i'd be like i mean for being non-park non-park public like pedal a, it's like an eight or a nine it's I was very sure I highly mean, rated sure. definitely I'd, I'd recommend personally. anybody come ride that stuff that's mm -hmm. right danielle what's your opinion <laughs> nine or ten nine or ten I mean, so, yeah it's fun. It's worth it. But the climb really wasn't that bad. I was just well, tired. That's what I'm saying. It's not that bad. So you can do it, what, eight times? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. yeah. This is like they were way a good warm more. warm up, I thought. Yes, like for sure. Burners, it's burners. super fun. It's yeah, super fun, definitely. Yeah. But this I, line I, I is... wouldn't even want to ride those all day. Yeah. yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Crazy. But like this is like, it's it's a little bit of everything. Exactly. You still got some no. jumps and it's like techy and you can yeah. go fast. Mm -hmm. and like you can pick different lines. Like I think you have a lot more bang for your buck. Yeah. Like up top, how you had a little variety of like some steep rock, and then you had a few little fly offs. Because sometimes you really don't want to jump, you just want to feel a little weightless for a second, dial the bike in, feel the suspension, and then you had a bridge jump, a couple tight corners, and then it was a rock garden. So you really it like dialed you in for that situation. It was a real good setup into a really techy, gnarly rock garden. I think everybody should check it out. And there's different lines in the rock garden, so you can be hard as you want it or easy as you want it. What so, do you give it? I mean, if they now, I would make it. A, I would make it a solid ten if the bridge wasn't there. But I know how dangerous that would be. I know how dangerous. I'm so it should glad be. the bridge was there because that was that? fun. Two, one and a half points. To, because that's a <laughs> solid. That is a solid gap that yes. you have to commit to as a warm up before you get to that rock so garden. There's your squirrel catcher. That's the squirrel catcher. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I am so glad the bridge is there because it's oh, but so the, the, fun. It's so the, smooth. So smooth. When you go smooth. It when you go easy. over it, it's just like, it feels so great. It does feel like, good. It really does. It does feel good just to mm -hmm. hit whatever speed you're going and mm -hmm. hop and the landing's mm -hmm. all there. I like but it. But if the bridge wasn't there, the exact same thing would be happening. The exact but same thing would be happening, but there'd I'm, be no bridge. I was jumping off the bridge, not off the rock. I noticed that when I was riding. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. He jumped the bridge. So, so if you yeah. jumped the rock, I feel like I was coming it. off the rock. I was pre-hopping. I wasn't. That I was, was pre -hopping. I was definitely coming off the bridge. <laughs> no, that's good. I think it's a really good trail. <laughs> the trade-off of not having the best uh, set of knees, the trade-off for the climb for that trail, 
I would come out and session that trail. 100%. A nice okay. windy day and you'd be fine. Because mm -hmm. the climb is very gradual. It wasn't bad. The though. whole way. Mm -hmm. The climb is great. So I think we'll be back. Hey guys, I hope you like this style of edit. I really wanted to bring to the table something different where you can get the perspective from a lot of different riders with different skill sets. I think we accomplished that amazingly. If you liked what was going on in the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next adventure, but don't forget, pedal a little harder and don't touch the brakes.